the east, there's a mist coming in, like something is brewing and about to begin. Can't hook me finger on what lies in store, but feel what's to happen or happened before. A father, a mother, a daughter, a son. The threads of their lives are all rattling undone. Something is needed to twist them as time as a string you might use when you're flying a kite. Chim, chim, honey, chim, chim, cherry. Cherry tree. 
Now, Winifred, if you do wish to please me. You know I do, Todd. Very well, then. Place an advertisement in the time, stating that Jane and Michael Banks require the best possible nanny at the lowest possible wage. We'd better get them off before they make another mistake. I'm stressed that. Father? What is that you're holding, dear? We have written our own advertisement. What are you? Todd, I think we should hear it. Now, what if none of your theatrics? We've all heard to listen. Two adorable children. Adorable? Well, that's the big rule I have to say. If you want this choice position, have a cheery disposition. Rosy cheeks, no warts. That's the part I put in. Play games, all sorts. You must be kind. You must be. I'm not 
I look forward to making use of that. If there's one thing I appreciate, it's a child whose word I can depend on. Who's he when he's at home? That's Valentine. He's mine. From the look on his face, I'm not sure he'd agree with you. Well, he's just a doll, and I don't want to play with him right now. Treat him like that, and he might not want to play with you. Now, first things first, I always say the proper place to hang a hat is on a hat stand. Sometimes you must remember 
Jim and me, Jim, Jim, to do. I does what I like, and I like what I do. Today I'm a screamer, and as you can see, a screamer's an artist of highest degree. And it's all me own work from me own memory. It's just me drawings like it always is. There's no harm in them. I'll be the judge of that. This is my part, and I say you're interfering with the public branch. I want them to remove this. That is, I, uh, you watch it, you just watch it. Stay right where you are. I know that silhouette anywhere. Well, you do look swell, I must say. How does he know you? He can't know you. You've only just arrived. I wasn't born one, of my, one minute before I walked into your house, Michael Banks. Have you met these two birds? Well, I've seen them running about, chasing a kite. It isn't a real kite. So what are you up to then? Mary Poppins says it's a game. It's called a walk in the park. Some game? I'd rather eat spinach. Come on, Bert. You're due for a break. And you promised you'd take me out the next time we met again. Well, have you forgotten? Of course I ain't, Mary, but... Oh, dear. Is that all you've got? Never mind, then. My treat. And no one's charging for the trees in the sky, are they? Mary Poppins, is he really coming with us? Why should he? Well, to start with, he's very dirty. Father would never approve. What's that? You're too dirty! You can't come with us, and we don't want to go to the stinky park anyway! Oh, yes you do, because when you walk with Mary Poppins, you go to places you've never dreamed of. And when she says it's a game, she has something in mind, and you can count on that. That's a picture of the park, isn't it? That's not a park. Not our park, anyway. Look, that tree's a much brighter green, and the sky's quite a different blue. I think you'll find it's just the way I've drawn it. All that it takes is a spark, and then something blown as a path becomes a wonderland! All you have to do is look at you.
if we want to say goodnight. Tell them you've given me the message. George, please. Oh, Daddy, we've had the most fantastic day. We sang with the busker, danced with the statue, and met Queen Victoria. You wouldn't have approved, but... If you know that, then why do you do it? Daddy, can I have a kite? A proper one? Could you fly it? You can always teach me. When will I have the time to do that? Daddy, who was the father of Melius? Will you please let me get on? Good night. Oh, Michael. All he cares about is flying kites. And his beloved astronomy, of course. I used to love astronomy at his age. But my nanny, Miss Andrew, soon beat it up for me. You do think we need a nanny, George, and is out of the question to do without one? Don't be absurd. Of course we need a nanny. All the best people have nannies. So the wives can do charity work and entertain. Which reminds me, how is your tea party coming on? I'm not sure. It seems so odd to send out invitations to people I hardly know. But they're people you should go. Remember, by your friends shall ye be judged. But that's the point. They're not my friends. Actually, I heard from Connie Bunting today. She's rehearsing a new play at the moment, and I thought I might How ask her... How many times must I tell you? I wish you to sever all connections with that part of your life. George, I was an actress. Lots of people might find that interesting. Though you always talk as if I should be ashamed of it. Well, it's not exactly something to be proud of. Winifred, dearest, I'm only really thinking of you. I want people to admire you, to respect you. I know, George, but sometimes it's hard. It is not hard. It's your job to be Mrs. Banks. And what is your job? To pay for everything. <laughs> what is it? It's only going to kiss you. Oh, all right. Are you going to say something to Mary Poppins about this afternoon? I don't think so. Very well. But just make sure she's doing things our way and not hers. What good are rules? If you can bend them, we need our nanny who is disciplined and stern. With boys and girls, you don't befriend them. I hear that Mary Poppins has a lot to learn. Mrs. Banks,
Because they take a little nip from every flower that they see.
I believe so, sir. Good, good. The shards the drive on.
but she's just a bundle of rags. When you learn to go past what you see. Who? Dr. Grace, your father! Because he gives his nice little slip and 
be so much shock to his secret. It can't have been the same George Banks. It would be 40 years ago, and no one can remember that that far. Listen, dearie, I remember everything. I remember God used to love the gingerbread. I wonder if we have any left today. Annie, Granny, look lively.
Mary Poppins, could you keep the children occupied tonight? Children's very exhausted. I hope you haven't forgotten, Mum. Tonight's my evening out. What? Oh, dear, I, I had forgotten. I suppose the best people wouldn't ask you to change your plans? No, Mum, they wouldn't. I thought not. It's not fair! Daddy loses his temper and we're shut up in the nursery. Daddy's mean and rotten and I hate him. Jane, he came back back this instant. I will not have you criticise your father. Why not? He criticised with you. Last week he said you were neither youth nor ornaments. How dare you! I heard him say it and so did you. Sometimes, people say things they don't mean. Take the children upstairs, please, Mary Poppins. George. What is it now? I thought you might like to talk about it. What would be the point? Perhaps I can help. Don't be ridiculous. I'm serious, George. If you're having troubles, I'd like to share them. Don't worry. You will. The fact is, I've been suspended with that salary until they decide what to do with me. <gasps> Twist and turns, ups and downs, one moment spot. The next moment proud, a bad-tempered vices had better change quick, cause if the wind change, the faces might stick. Chim chim ani chim chim, cherry chim chum. You're going out, and we're stuck here. You've plenty of toys to play with. I don't want to play with them. They're boring. They might say the same about you. Why does Daddy get so cross? Fathers are supposed to look after their children, not yell at them all the time. Maybe, but have you ever asked yourself who looks after the fathers when things go wrong? The mothers, I suppose, not the children. Wouldn't that be rather upside down? Sometimes families are upside down, for a while anyway. Well, I don't want to be a part of an upside down family. I want to run away. Why don't you? Somebody might adopt you. You would miss me. No, I wouldn't. I could have your toys. No, you could not. Yes, I could. And I jolly well would. You have back to me, Michael. Jane, stop it. Let go. Now look what you've done. Poor Valentine. What's he ever done to you? He's a doll, silly. He couldn't do anything. Now, into bed at once, that's all. But we haven't had our milk yet. There will be no box and no milk either. If you can't be good, then you may as well be sorry. I wish you would just leave us alone. Be careful of things you wish for. Poor Valentine, go inside and make yourself presentable. Well, I won't go to bed, and you can't make me. In that, as in so many things, your information is faulty.
sunset stars is the chimney sweeps blow where there's hardly no day nor hardly no night. There's things off in shadow and all lights in light on the rooftops of London. Now as the ladder of the life has been strung, you might think I squeaks on the bottom of rum. Though I spent me time in the ashes and smoke, in this so wide world, there's no happy ever And there's no one so hard to teach as the child who knows everything. So? So, they've got to do the next bit on their own.
when you send it flying up there. All at once your life will then air. You can dance on the breeze over out of the trees with your fist only caught to the string of your car.
behind me is anything, if I was so pleased to see you. Wes Andrews, she's gone. Gone? How cute you. Now, if you're back, does this mean you're coming to stay? I'll stay for as long as necessary, Mom. Because the last time you left a word of warning. How do I know you won't do it again? You don't. Oh, excuse me, ma'am. Constable, I'm so sorry to have bothered you, but it's quite all right. See that back and... Not all of them, ma'am. What? I found this one wandering around the park. Sure. Good night, ma'am. Where is she? Miss Andrews? She left. Left? But how? She might have thought we were rude. A rude? To Miss Andrews? Well, I can't forgive it, but I suppose I can try to forget. In fact, I have given you six pence if I had one. Well, you haven't noticed. Mary Poppins is back. Is she? Oh, Mary Poppins? Well, well. I wonder if I might have a word. Things have not gone well for us since you left us. And About my wages, sir. If you don't mind, I won't take any just now. I should prefer to let them accrue. But, Mary Poppins, if only you knew how many payments are accruing as it is. Is everything all settled? It is. Now I must get started. Jane, my good spit spot. Are the trains paying up? Chim, 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 chim,
Now, Daddy, and the angels, yet they often see they don't hide balloons, no brand or balloon. Now they're covered in soot, and they're out on your room. Chim chim a dee, chim chim, Terry. See, it's true.
and we've decided to give them to you. I suppose Mary Poppins would have to this. No, she hasn't said a word about it. We know it's been difficult for you lately, and we haven't been much help. So we thought a bit of extra cash might loosen things up a little. It is a whole shilling. Good night, Daddy. We do love you, you know. Jane, do you remember he once asked me who Nelis' father was? It was Poseidon, king of the sea. Oh, yes, he talked a great deal about 
assets and profits and growth. But there wasn't a word about people. I know that as a man can say any sort of value on real life, and as far as you're concerned, it's a washout. But I'm afraid I do value a gentleman. In short, George Banks Esquire has rediscovered the human race. So I apologize for ruining the bank. But I do not apologize for understanding the more important things in life than making money. Burning bank! My dear chap, what are you talking about? You said my bank, haven't you heard? My lost a scheme has ruined our rival. You kept us out of the nasty standards of the record begun. We're not looking for your apology, we're offering ours. Oh my word. <laughs> and another thing, you ever giving a loan out to the fellow you saw for? Well, he's repaying it, getting two new factories. <coughs> the percentage you negotiated was said to make a fortune. Oh my word. Well, that's just it. And we very much hope you'll share the word with us. It'll be quite safe for us. Give you the word. Give you the word. I'll give you the word, all right. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious! Even though the sound of words is something quite a true.
pulpits, that was the best yet to be up in the heavens. Do you think we'll ever go back there? Yes. Someday. Maybe. Will it be soon? I don't know. Not for a very long time. You can always be behind the stars to return. Here. But it's your telescope. So it is. Keep it if you like. It's a present. Thank you. Now run along in. It's getting cold. You are a fine woman, my friends, and one day you'll be a fine man. Oh, Mary Poppins, that makes me so anxious when you talk like that. Like what? Oh, gentle and kind and not a bit like you. To be cross, Mary Poppins, be cross again. Is that the things I get for the trouble I've taken? That's better. That's James, sir. Hey, you're uh, I think it's for you. It's tonight, isn't it? Yes, sir. Well, goodbye, then, Mary. Goodbye, Bert. Look after yourself.
operator, you can be up here with all of these sets, all of these lights, all of these functions, all of these dances, and it's just been so much fun. So we have some people coming up, guys. So first, we have to um, honor each of our senior girls who graduated this year. So. Start with Abby Hogan. Abby Campbell. Anna Ware. Danielle Bostic, <laughs> Emily Tamore, <laughs> Emily Natalia, <laughs> Erin Riley, <laughs> Gabby Martinez. Jackie Lee, <laughs> Jess Deach, <laughs> up the light um, Jess Stow, <laughs> Josie Sumita, <laughs> Judy Camo. Kate Lynch, Kristen Boyle, Missy DePillo. Natalie Gale, <laughs> Paige McDonald, <laughs> Savvy Marcellus, <laughs> Sarah Griffin, <laughs> Shamaya Cheeks. Shannon Keith yeah. and Shane Mulvaney. Um, now, of course, we can't forget our senior boys. You see the list. <laughs> um, Mr. Andrew Child. Everyone had those light up poles, so we really want to thank all those women who did all of that work. We have to thank Mrs. Grant, Mrs. Joyce, Mrs. Kelly, Mrs. Meany, and Mrs. Churchill. Okay, next we have a whole 
slew of people who we would love to call up one by one and cheer for them, but we cannot put them in an order. They each have a title and a program, but they have just been everything for us, making sure everyone has everything they need, staging scenes, making set pieces and props, doing all different things, being the best cheerleaders, just everything, keeping everyone upbeat. So we have to call up Mr. Gannon, Mr. Gannon, Mr. Higgins, Ms. Churchill, and yeah, that is it.
music directed the show, and you just did a fabulous job. We would not be where we are today without you. And um, he was here sometimes from 6 in the morning till 10 at night, and he still had a smile on his face. And as all of you know, his smile and his laugh is absolutely contagious, and we all just were happy at rehearsal because of you. Um, you're just, you're the best principal in the world, and you're a fantastic, such a talent musician, and you're an even greater person, so. Crime don't it seem a shame when the steps aren't going as smoothly as they might. 